Northern Territory Government will increase budget expenditure by 7.6% next year, despite promising to cap annual growth at 3% just three weeks ago. The annual figure for expenditure growth was mysteriously missing from this year's budget papers, but a report in today's Australian newspaper confirms it is 7.6%, prompting concerns from economists that the Territory is walking a budget tightrope. A $1.1 billion deficit, record net debt and no return to surplus for at least eight years. But the Northern Territory Treasurer says things are looking up. What you'll see in this budget is that the economy is starting to turn. Just three weeks after announcing a plan to fix its economic mess, there was little sign of improvement across the five-year forward estimates, with net debt tipped to top $8 billion by 2021. And there was one question the Treasurer seemed keen to avoid. What is your estimate of the percentage year-on-year -year change in total expenditure for 2018-19? So the percentage year-on-year -year change yeah. for 2019. So what we are aiming at, Amos, is we are constraining expenditure growth. At least that's what the government promised to do after revealing it's now paying almost a million dollars a day in interest. But after promising to cap annual expenditure growth at 3%, that figure was mysteriously missing from this year's budget papers. Yeah, what's the figure you're expecting to achieve against that target this financial year? So my expectation is that we are going to achieve uh, the budgets that we have set. The Australian newspaper later revealed the budget has set expenditure growth at 6.7%, even higher than the 6% average that has led the Territory into the economic mess it finds itself in today. But if Territorians were thinking the country Liberal Party might be its economic saviour, it might have to think again. Opposition leader Gary Higgins still hasn't finished reading the budget repair report released three weeks ago. Yes, I've read most of it. Most of it? Yep. How much? If I said 80% of it? Matt Cunningham, Sky News, Darwin.